Dr. Rani, Chief Engineer, Tamil Nadu Water Resources Department, to say a few words uh, um, about what they do and how they do. So, Dr. Rani. Yes, sir. Good morning to all. I'm Dr. Rani, Special Chief Engineer and Project Director in charge of TRIP. Uh, I, today, I'm uh, interested to talk about the women in water management and TRIP. Sir, I want to share some PPT. Is it possible? Dr. Raji Kumar, sir, please. Yeah. Uh, Judy, can, yeah, Judy, can you help in sharing the PPT? Rani, uh, ma'am, just uh, one minute. Yeah. Uh, Judy, okay, uh, sir, but I don't know how to share. Uh, don't worry, uh, my colleague is sharing it. Okay, you. okay, thank you. Uh, just tell me when you want me to change the slide. Just say slide and I'll change it for you. Thank you, thank you ma'am. Can I open? No. Next slide, please. Oh, okay. In ancient women and water management, in ancient days, while the kings and men were engaged with uh, water activities, it was the women who have been the gatekeepers of the water ecologies. Moreover, as per the statement of the Rajasthan uh, folklore specialist, that is uh, Gulti Kotari, women have built uh, water bodies and kept them clean for centuries. In ancient India, women played a significant role. They enjoyed equal status as compared to their male counterparts. Moreover, in Rig Vedas also, the women enjoyed high status in the society. The women were provided with opportunities to develop their intellectual skills and their abilities, and they are regarded as the source of power who could make wise and productive decisions. In later Vedic period, women began to experience the discriminatory treatment. In the Indian society, there was a prevalence of the viewpoint that males were the assets of the family. On the other hand, the girls were regarded as the liabilities. From the stage of early childhood, they were trained like that. So they are discouraged from acquisition of the education. But in women's part women participation world scenario, if we uh, look after that, in the International Conference on Water and Environment held in 1992, uh, which is held in Dublin, they, uh, they have recognized that uh, essential role of women in water management. Well, in that uh, conference itself, in the principle three of Dublin statement shows that women play a central part in the provision management and safeguarding of water. In the Beijing platform for action also emphasizing the same, the need to prioritize the women's specific needs in the water resource development and management in the national policies and, progr policies and program. So the policies need to be adapted to address the specific needs of the women with regard to the water, but also to empower them to participate in all, at all levels of water resource management programs. Women are the domestic water managers at the household and community levels. Hence, women have potential to become active stakeholders in process of management and decision making with the, within the water sector. So, women can women could play a key role in the water management as the major stakeholders in the process of policy making, planning, implementation, etc. So, in UN, UN Women is the United Nations entity dedicated to the gender equality and empowerment of women. In SDG 5 also aims to end all discrimination against women and, women and girls to ensure equal access to health, education, and opportunities. World Bank and World Bank uh, World Water Council have also increasingly acknowledged the water rights for the woman from the point of view of human rights. So thus, there seems to be universal concerns on the woman's participation in the water management to ensure sustainable supply of water. So gender concerns, what is the necessity? So if we think of it, how the water policies to have the differential impact on men and women, how the differential impact on men and women affect the efficiency in water management and how the women's participation in the water management can help the sustainable development and efficient management, this could be studied. So from that uh, implications, we have we learned that the incorporation of the gender concerns in the water and sanitation program has led to the successful implementation of a number of projects. United Nations of Water and Sanitation projects in more than 110 countries were successful due to the effective participation of the women. 
the role of women in our department uh, our government of tamil nadu allotted 30% reservation for the women in the government jobs hence the uh, in our department we have more than 50% strength of the women engineers totally in various positions few of the dams were completely maintained and operated by the women engineers we are proud to say that 15% of the women engineers occupies in the top, the top position of the government in the ongoing brief project also um, one minute had, just yeah. just yeah. just one minute i think the slide need to be changed okay. Judy, uh, yeah perfect uh, okay sir in the sorry that one or the next one next next sorry ah uh, in the ongoing drip project, the state P uh, SP uh, SPME is attended by the women officer with a sound by percentage of the women technical staff who are all took part in the successful implementation of the drip project. In team IT and WRT also, we are having the design team, which is also headed by a woman officer. Uh, she's doing, uh, who are doing with uh, several irrigation structure, design of irrigation structures such as spillway, fish like connected, etc. Moreover, in the management sector also, the woman officer, officer played a key role in rejuvenating 150 years old page for a dam. Several women technographs in the Division WRD plays a role in operating dams, tanks, and supply of water for irrigation, industrial, and power generation needs. So, TNWRD women engineers play a role in investigation of new projects. Harvest, uh, harvesting water, estimation of groundwater potential, and river basin studies. So, gender equalities in our in our state. So, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Rani. Uh, yes, you really shared. Yes, with... Thank you, Dr. Rani, for sharing uh, some of the interesting facts. Uh, how in ancient India women played a uh, very important role and yes, also yes. some of the work uh, now you are doing and the uh, really women are uh, very they bring uh, another perspective and very important sometimes to manage water sustainably and achieve the sdg goals and uh, they are without doubt great water managers whether at home or outside in the field and so i think we we if we can uh, encourage and empower women engineers women uh, at various roles in water management we can do a better job so thank you again thank you thank you uh, good morning everyone uh, i am sini executive engineer representing dam safety wing kerala electricity board I feel very much honored to be given an opportunity to speak some words in such a dignified forum regarding women participation in flood management, including EAP. In Kerala State Electricity Board Civil Wing, almost half of the engineers are women and their shoulder works equally in big hydroelectric projects which require physical challenges as well as extra hours of work. I was working earlier in Totiar hydroelectric project and was in charge of the construction of the power house. Let us come to the dam safety. As you all know, managing these dams, which includes Asia's biggest arch dam at Idiki, Kerala is quite a task. And all in all the well set systems for this, the participation of women is considerable and commendable high. Uh, our dam safety wing is headed by a vibrant lady engineer, chief engineer who also holds an additional challenging post as the chairperson of state dam safety organization. We have 38 specified dams which, with the five dams which are above 100 meters. These dams are part of hydroelectric project, a hydroelectric power generation of the state of Kerala in South India. We produce around 2200 megawatts from this hydel power. I am in charge of three dams, Perinal Kut hydroelectric project, Sholayar hydroelectric project, and Idamalayar. The Idamalayar dam is the one among dam of iconic importance. Perinal Kut dam is a small dam which overtopped during the uh, 
2018 floods. Later on, we have completed the dam strengthening works, and now the dam is capable to hold water up to FRL. Our responsibilities, including routine maintenance works, like special maintenance work, dam rehabilitation and improvement works, maintaining rule curves during monsoon, gate operations, routine as well as special inspections, pre- and post-monsoon inspections, maintaining departmental land, interaction with the upstream and downstream inhabitants, coordination with local bodies, etc. Out of the five field executive engineers in dam safety wing of Kerala State Electricity Board, two units are headed by lady engineers. Many of our lady officers are working efficiently in the dam operation, even in adverse flood conditions. They work very efficiently in the control rooms and field works. In the well-set systems in KSEBEL, the participation of women is considerable and commendably high. Similar in the case of our government systems, many of the district collectors, presidents and members of various local self-government agencies are women, and the rehabilitation works and the issues at downstream are well managed by women, who, which, which is an integral part of emergency action plan. In the local self-government department, there is a reservation, 50%, around 50% reservation for women, which has led to women taking up issues facing the common people, including floods, etc. Some of the difficulties we are faced by us, uh, difficulties faced by us while exercising our field level duties in dam safety wing are excessive travel, challenging site conditions, accommodation at remote field areas. Kerala State Electricity Board is taking care of all these issues in an efficient manner. There is proper security arrangements and accommodation facilities at site for women staff. The cooperation and support offered by our male colleagues help a lot in executing our duties successfully under these circumstances. Last but not least, wholehearted support of our family members is also a good factor for the success of we working women. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mrs. Sini. Um, and I, Kerala always does better. And I think the way you explain how women are empowered there and 50% uh, are women engineers there. And uh, the way it works, it's a great thing. You, The Kerala state is doing an example for other states. So thank you. And some of the good insights. So uh, 